Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where someone expects you to pay $1,000 for a vegetarian meal. Selling dorm refrigerator. I'll offer 35 bucks. I'm in blank. I have Venmo. Hello? Hello, I'm in blank, and I have a fridge for 50 bucks cash. $35. No. You don't even need the money. Really? How do you know? Because you live in a middle class neighborhood. Then you don't even need the fridge, clearly. With you, one star. On Friday, November 1st at about 11 a.m., I stopped by the Starbucks and I had the worst customer service that I've ever experienced in my life. I bought a breakfast sandwich at another Starbucks. I didn't have a chance to eat it for about an hour. I stopped at this Starbucks and asked if they could reheat it for me. The girl at the counter said, no, they can't do that. I asked why and she said it was a health violation. I asked her to make me another sandwich and she said no we can't do that and that I can buy another sandwich if I want. Any decent person would have either reheated the sandwich or would have offered to make me a new one. These are the type of people that will destroy a business. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering why Starbucks couldn't just reheat the sandwich, <laughs> let me tell you why that's a terrible idea. After OP bought the first sandwich, she could have put anything she wanted on the sandwich. Rotten fish, liquid fart prank materials, she could have opened up the bread and took a steaming dump on it and then closed the bread, rewrapped it, and said, Here, could you heat this up for me, please? Then the entire Starbucks would have smelled like microwaved rotten fish or turd or whatever, which would be, gosh, just disgusting. And of course, they'd also have to close the place down and probably throw out the microwave entirely. So when she's talking about this being a simple request, no, it's not a simple request. It's like, lady, this is Starbucks. They're here to sell you coffee and sandwiches and like crepes or whatever. They're not your personal kitchen. This next post comes from a wedding invitation. So that we may prepare your preferred dinner, please circle your gift level and indicate a meal choice for each person in your party. For a loving gift of up to $250, you get roast chicken or swordfish. For a silver gift of $251 to $500, you get sliced steak or poached salmon. For a golden gift of $501 to $1,000, you get filet mignon or lobster tails. For a platinum gift of $1,001 to $2,500 and above, you get two pound lobster plus a souvenir champagne goblet. Also, vegetarian and kosher meals are available at the platinum level. Please indicate this as your preference. The favor of your reply is requested by the 13th of September. And then down in the comments and post and replies. Jesus effing Christ, $1,001 to attend if you're vegetarian? How about you just eat my ass for free? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. After all, it is tossing salad. <laughs> Do you have your own spot? Car? Job? Sorry for the interrogation, lol. I'm just not into dating losers. I'm sure you can understand. I definitely understand, and I absolutely bought a house a while back. My dad helped me out a lot, but yeah, I do have a house. I also have a full-time job and two cars, lol. One is strictly for work and one is for pleasure. Sounds like you've got it going for you. Thanks, love. So how about you? How about me what? Car? Crib? Job? Why would I need one? That's why I'm looking for a man to take care of me and my kids. Men are providers. Didn't your mom ever teach you? I live with my mom, I get child support, and I don't have a car yet. Is that a problem? <laughs> Dumpster fire seeks full-time firefighter. Beneath that, a non-content adds, I met a girl years ago, and she was telling me that before she would even consider dating a guy, he would have had to at the very least completed a master's degree. I asked her what her field was academically, and she pulled a similar thing to OP. What do you mean? So I asked her what university she attended and what she studied. She replied that she didn't complete high school and that it was a man's role to provide and that she'd mind the kids. I should also point out that she already had two kids from two different dads. She was really classy. I have to wonder, what do you think the odds are that her two other baby daddies each had master's degrees? Also, <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but master's degrees aren't really all they're cracked up to be. 
some are amazing. Don't get me wrong. If you get a degree in medicine or I, there's no like there's no master's degree in law, but if you get your law degree, then that's like obviously super, super valuable. But I have a master's degree in literary and cultural studies because I thought that I was going to become an English professor. And oh, my God, that was a waste of money. And beneath that, we had this story from UES Foodie. Same. I knew a woman who was in her late 40s. She had a high school degree and worked as a nanny. She was never married, and she had overstayed her work visa in the country. But her list of requirements was insane! He had to be within five years of her in age, never married, no kids, and must be a doctor or attorney. He must attend opera or ballet, which she herself didn't go to, and be highly religious in her particular religion. On the rare occasions that she'd get a first date with a guy like that, she'd get mad at them for asking questions about her life. Once, a guy asked the last time she had seen her family back in her home country, and she flipped out because she thought he was snooping into her visa status. Man, <laughs> I can't imagine the amount of copium these people have to be consuming on a daily basis. An unmarried doctor or lawyer with no kids is automatically in like the top 10% of most desirable men on the dating market. And she's bringing to the relationship what exactly? So one of my guilty pleasures that my wife and I really like is The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. And <laughs> watching this show sometimes is so frustrating because these people come on the show and they're, they're really, really attractive people, like solid eights and nines. Usually not like 10 out of 10s, they're not like supermodel attractive, but just like if one of these people came in the room, they're attractive enough that you would be like, wow, okay, that person's attractive. And they're like, well, I'm 28 and I just can't find the right guy to settle down with. And it's like, well, I can tell you what your problem is. Your standards are too high. These people assume that just because they're super attractive, that they can find another super attractive guy who's also like a really good person, a good provider, blah, 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 all the other stuff of what they're looking for in a, in a man or a partner or whatever. But like finding a good partner who just has a good heart, has a good family, has a good job, that's already super, super hard to do. You're already dealing with a really small dating pool. But then if you want to say, oh, but I'm also super attractive, so if I'm a 9 out of 10, then I expect my partner to be a 9 out of 10 too. Then that shrinks your dating pool to an even tinier fraction of a fraction. So you end up with people like this woman, a single woman in her 40s who can't figure out why she can't get herself a rich man, giving away a microwave for free. Is this still available? Address, please. Yeah, I live in Aylmer. Okay, I can't go there for just a microwave unless you pay me $25 for gas. I don't even know how to respond to you. Unreal. So based on my understanding of these types of posts, what's really going on here is that Choosing Beggar is planning on getting the microwave for free and then just reselling it, probably even on the same website for like five or 10 bucks. I don't know if I would call it a scam exactly because it's not exactly taking advantage of OP in these situations. And like if they're willing to put in the work to flip something and like hustle it out, then you know, more power to them, I guess. But this guy asking for 25 bucks shows that it's not about the gas, it's not about the microwave, it's that this guy is trying to exploit money out of OP, plain and simple. From what I've seen, the best way to give something away for free online isn't to list it for free, it's to list it super, super cheap at like 5% or 10% of its normal value. And then when someone shows up, just be like, nah, don't worry about the cash, you can have it. It's a pretty effective strategy for weeding out all the people who are just in it to scam some money out of you. Hi, I play a five-piece Christian rock band and we're looking to record some of our music in your studio. We don't really have endings to our songs, but we're hoping we can figure something out while we're in there. We have a strict time schedule and we're looking to book the studio for two days and we saw that you charge about 200 bucks a day to hire out your studio. I'll just stress this to you nicely. If we don't have an album of nine tracks fully mixed and mastered by the end of the two days, then we will not pay you. We take the band seriously, and we do not settle for mediocre deals. Hi, so you want a 9-track album, fully mastered and mixed in two days, when you haven't even finished writing your songs? This sort of feels like going to a restaurant and ordering a burger or whatever and being like, Look, I'll take your burger, but if I eat the burger and I'm still hungry afterwards, then I am not paying you for it. Or going to a gym and getting a subscription and being like, Look, I'll work out in your gym, but if I don't lose 10 pounds in two days, I am not paying you. 
When is someone gonna take this seriously? I have no family, no nothing, so my TV is very important. And no one is taking this seriously. It's been three days now, and I really need someone to give me a computer or an iPad or something. I'm only 56. How are older people coping without a TV? I'm fuming and upset. And then beneath this Facebook post, someone replies, It's a bit rude demanding people give you a computer or an iPad. There's more serious things going on than losing a few TV channels. Well said, Mike. I couldn't have put it better myself. Thanks. Arrogant, rude people like this really annoy me. Well, OP, I would hope, I would sincerely hope that by the time you're 56, you have your life put together enough that you can go out and buy your own iPad. Hi. Anyway, I saw your work on r slash Photoshop request, and I must say the skull art was really nice. So, I was wondering if you could make a character art from a description. I'll pay, but I don't have a sketch. Yeah, thank you. I love to do this kind of character art. Please send the description, and the price would depend on how detailed you want it to be. Amazing! I'll email you the details. It's a two-page PDF. What's your email? Then the Choosing Beggar sent this long PDF with a weird character backstory and mentions every single tiny detail of how they look. That's really descriptive. It's nice to know what exactly you're trying to make them look like. It really helps. But it looks like it's a lot of work though, so $50. Dollars? Uh, yes. It's okay, I guess. It had better be worth it. Oh yeah, it would be. I'm currently working on another project, but I'll jump on this as soon as I finish that one. You pay 25% in advance. Why? And what if I don't like the result? I mean, you liked my work, that's why you contacted me, right? Bro, I don't have money right now, I'm getting paid in a few days. You'll get your money once it's done. Check my profile, I've paid people before on Photoshop Request subreddit. Okay, let's do it this way. You watermark it and send it to me full resolution after getting paid. Let me think. Come on, man. I really need this done. Please? Fine. I'll keep you updated once I begin the work. Awesome. Then, after finishing the work and making a few changes, OP sent him the final version. But then the dude went missing for two days. It's been 24 hours, bro. I sent you two emails and still no response. So what's up? Listen, man. I can't just sit around with this one. I have other work to do. I've sent you an invoice. Whenever you get time, pay the money and I'll send you a full resolution in unwatermarked files. I am not liking this, bro. I sent the money. I know it's less than what you said, but believe me, the last two days were the worst days of my life. I broke my leg and I was in the hospital for two days. I couldn't even reply. I'm so sorry. I hope you understand. Nah, bro. $10 is not going to do it. I spent more than six hours on this. Also, I feel like you're BSing me. Bro, I swear. This is ridiculous, man. I'm not going to give it to you for $10. Why are you typing for so long, bro? Don't waste your time. I am not giving it for anything less than the agreed upon price. Come on, man. You literally work for free on other subs. I'm still paying you 10 bucks. Oh, what? I work for free when I want to, not when someone promises to pay. I didn't do this in my free time, you know. This was a paid gig. Please. This is the exact reason why I wanted 25% in advance. No. Okay, so what are you going to do with it? You already made it. You're just wasting your work then. I would happily throw it away instead of giving it out for free. Bro, I sent you $10. Will another 5 do? $50. It's better to get $15 than wasting your work. It's okay. This is a learning lesson for me. Listen, stop wasting your time. Don't message me anymore. I'll send you the files after you pay $40 more. I can't afford $50. So, I guess that's it. What a fool. Give me my $10 back. <laughs> no. You grunt. I'll report you to PayPal. They'll block your account. That's enough of that. I have screenshots. I can't wait to show this to everyone. If you grunt, your work isn't worth that much money. Huh, classic. Blocked. Alright, so OP said that he posted the art in another subreddit, and I had, to go, <laughs> I had to go look up what it was, and it's basically every edgy 13-year-old's wet dream. 
For those of you who are listening but not watching, imagine this like, I guess, priest, but he's got like half of a shirt so you can see his rippling biceps and his muscles. And the guy's got four arms wielding a giant spiky mace and magic hands. And one of his hands instead of fingers is this long, long bloody sword. And of course he's got some super cool medieval helmet that's also covered up by a black hood. And honestly, it's really good artwork. It's just a shame that OP got scammed by some 12 year old. Unfortunately, I feel like this is a lesson that pretty much every single artist or freelancer has to experience at some point in your life. You'll have a client, they'll send you some red flags which you ignore, and inevitably you end up doing all this work for half price or no price. So it sucks that you had to go through this OP, but in the grand scheme of things, $40 is a pretty cheap life lesson. That was r slash choosing beggars, and if you like this content, check out my Patreon where I publish extra episodes. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.